I am Maureen Feynman, and I'm an associate research professor in the Department of Geosciences at Penn State. And this I'm, is my friend Heather. <laughs> I'm Heather McCune Brune. I'm an assistant teaching professor in the Department of Art History at Penn State. Oh, welcome to Rocks, Minerals, and the History of Art. This is Art History 107 and Geosciences 107. Uh, this is a new general education class that has been developed as an integrative learning class. So you may be wondering what that means and why you're being asked to take an integrative learning class. So the point of these integrative learning classes is to bring together different domains of learning. So in the case of this particular class, what we're doing is focusing on bringing together the sciences that I study and the and arts, the arts. <laughs> that, that Heather <laughs> studies. Um, and to explore the places where science and art interlap and uh, overlap and interact and how they work together as one. Um, so we're going to begin uh, just sort of with a little orientation to get you familiar with the class, talk a little bit about what some of our goals or objectives are for this class. And I guess in the simplest sense, we can break this down into three basic fundamental learning objectives that we hope you'll walk away from this class with. Uh, the first of those would be developing a vocabulary, both for talking about rocks and minerals on my side and for talking about the art history on Heather's side. Um, and uh, from once we have built that vocabulary, then we will start to explore the interface between art and science so that we can really look at the ways in which these two are intrinsically linked to one another in, in such a way that we really can't have science without art and we can't have art without science. Uh, and then finally, we're going to try to scale it up to a global stage and really encourage all of us together to think globally about how the arts and sciences uh, have uh, informed humanity throughout all of history, and history being a part of big part yes. of what Heather does. Yes, and what makes this so fascinating is at some point in your life, uh, outside of a course like this, you will have the chance to do something interdisciplinary. Maybe it's going to a conference where you have one theme that ties a bunch of different fields together, but you can learn so much more about your own field when you start looking at it through the lenses of another field. Um, you might have already had that experience taking a foreign language. I know that my knowledge of German has really enhanced <laughs> the way that I understand the English language and how I break things down. Um, and I've learned so much just in the process of building this course. So we're hoping to bring some of the same aha moments to you in this course. Some of the same aha moments that the both of us have had through yes. putting this course together <laughs> for you. Yes, so welcome to Art History and GeoSci 107.